Hey guys, my name is Seriak and welcome back to another episode of the Fool's Apolis here in City Skylines. Well, last episode, we kind of seem to have some growth issues. The, the city won't grow, it's kind of struggling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of a bank seat with the growth. And we're going to start to do some stuff which will hopefully trigger and enable the growth to continue. So today, I'm going to look at expanding the airport solely at trying to create my own airline company by placing down the headquarters. Now there's a good reason for this is because we need to slowly diversify into the zone and specialize Asian and one of them is the leisure. We do need to start bringing more tourists to the area to give a little bit of a oomph to the local economy which means I kind of want to build a little bit of a beach. Now it all intertwines. It's like saying, you got to build your own airline to build a beach to get some tourism. Uh, well, yes, because I want to create my own airline company to bring the people over. I want all the people to know that your boy's Fools Opolis Airlines is the only company that you should fly with when coming to the Fools Opolis. But it's going to lead on to greater things. Now, if you guys do enjoy this, I'm going to see more. Please make sure you smash that like button down below if you're new and make sure you subscribe so you get enough idea this is okay. Ooh, I said that so fast, I'm like a rap god. Right, anyway, we're here. So this is what we're working with. I've kind of located this here to be our first little bit of a beach near the airport. It's just so good. And it also then allowed me to kind of then build the airport transfers with the buses, the shuttle buses to and from, <laughs> which is also pretty good as well. We can take a load of hotels down and like kind of jazz. It's going to be pretty sweet. But to be able to go over here, I'm going to have to transform this in well from a trumpet into the standard crisscrosser here so i can kind of access very easily uh, thus utilizing this roundabout a little bit more as well but to be able to do all that i do need uh, to basically be able to have our own airline company coming in so that's what we're going to do first we're going to build the headquarters get this leveled up to a point where the attractiveness is there i can get it to level three build my headquarters and then we'll make some plans to get in a little bit of a kind of a tourist destination set up over here it's going to be pretty sweet, guys. It's going to be pretty sweet. So, at the moment, we do need to get the attractiveness up to get that leveled. I do think we can kind of build the airport uh, headquarters. Because I pretty much have everything unlocked. But again, we still do need to get it up to that level. Now, I won't build any of the airports. and um, Airports, <laughs> the hotels. I want to build those hotels within our little Tory section, which does mean i got to spread this over slightly. So if I first kind of zone the area a little bit more than what we've currently got, just so, right, I can get a couple of additional attractiveness objects in. Right, if I just build it to there for now, I've got to be too careful I don't spread it too far because it does start to flatten all the land off. And then uh, we'll do what we can to get this up. So I pretty much got to double it to what it currently is almost. Uh, it should be it should shouldn't be too difficult as well. So if we take a look at first then uh, Again, I won't do the headquarters until we got the final thing in stuff like the aviation fuel depots Their attractiveness right now is 40. That's not gonna get me too far the airport lounges uh, They're 60 a pop. I believe we've already got two in so I'll extend and place another one in just there and then Another one just there. So that's like almost like 120 additional added. Let's get some fuel stations down. Which for these I gotta be you gotta you you do have to kind of be careful where you place them all down. But I've got the fuel services one just here and maybe screw uh, squeeze one in just there. So with those four items placed down, my attractiveness is now at 780. So I think we should then take a look at doing some stands. So you got, they, they range from 20 all the way up to the big ones, which are like 40 uh, and stuff like that. I do have uh, all these kind of connections we can also play around with. We got the cargo, which we're not doing cargo because that's not what we're all about. We do have the aviation museum and we also have the headquarters building. But the aviation museum is also a really, really big one. But to do that, we kind of need to uh, change some stuff up just here. So I think we should create I, this. I still need to work with this because this was just thrown in last minute. But if I create coming over here right now, and also if I can implement something that will allow us to kind of use our shuttle buses. Now the shuttle buses are, where are they? It's this, isn't it? The bus station. 
If I can integrate this in, must be placed on a concourse. So it needs to be placed on... Does this need to be placed on a building? Oh, it, it might have to. Hold on. Hold on, boys. Hold on. Um, what? What one have we used? We've used this one, haven't we? So the concourse is this. So if I try and just mimic 20 both sides to kind of mimic the actual airport extending. Does it need to be connected to one of these? Oh my goodness me, yes. Yes, it does. So if I scrap that there and there, and in return we kind of go crisscross. So if I did a... A... Um... Let's do an 8. 8 by 6. No, I'm going to do a 10 there. Let me, do, let me do redo this one. Drop a 10 in. And then here, if I can... Okay, I'll go out by 6 there. Do I... Do you know what? Do I really want to create that? Or should I keep it like that? That looks a lot more fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. So, if I was to build this in, I know it looks a little bit of a funky one right now, but just roll with it. And if I play, I mean, I can either have it in here, and, but then how big is the Aviation Museum? Okay, it's fairly big. I'll have the Aviation Museum, like, here, and the bus shuttle thing just there. Right. So, there's the bus shuttle then, which will bring in the passengers... Uh, which will eventually kind of go over to our little beach area. So it's a nice little shuttle back and forth from the airport, which would be really, really cool. Uh, and then we're going to create a uh, attachment piece. So if I use this one, so I can't come out too much, but six by six by six, okay. And then what we'll do here. Is that the same point, you reckon? No. So that's there is 12. 24 is about there. I'm trying to replicate that, but I know I'm not going to, unless I dropped another one here and then flipped it round. But I know that's just not going to work. We have to kind of build it how we want to build it. So if I choose... Right, if I choose there and go across straight. Oh, this ain't going to work out the way I want it to. I'm going to scrap that idea just here. I'm scrapping that idea just here. We'll unhook that and set something different up instead. But if I use this right now as my connection in. And do the same just there. I'm actually going to unhook this road. Right, and we'll upgrade it to the tree road. And what I'll do is I'm going to pick that point there to go up, and that point there. And I'm hoping. Oh, do you know what? I don't think that's going to be enough. So what I'll do is I'll do a three by three bend, three by three bend, three by three. And we're creating this little loop that the buses will, will then do as they enter this area. And I'm thinking instead of going here, what if I went to about there instead with my connections? So the road leans out and we build it on the inside. So if that's the case, I'm then going to do a 10 that way. And we'll, do a, we'll, we'll only do a 5 just there. With that connection to there to there. So if I bend this nicely. And. Yeah we'll do it like that. With then this going directly into there. That's how it then leads into this area. And then when that road crosses over. That will kind of just bend into it. And then we'll do some industrial stuff around it. Or, or whatnot. So here, if I kind of then... I know we're going to run to there, but if I run almost straight to there, keeping that going smoothly, delete back just here, 
And then where does the bend... Okay, it's an 8. 8 by 10 or an 8 by... If I do 8 by 7, we get that little bit extra straight piece. And then I should be able to place down my uh, aviation museum. Which the space is already occupied, apparently. How can the space be occupied? Alright, there we go. So if I dropped this here... It's within the airport. It puts us to a... Instead of 780. <laughs> is that within the zoning? Please tell me that's within the zoning, guys. Uh, zoning. Yeah. Why is it not increased? Does that not count as attractiveness? Get out of here. Right now. Oh. No, do you know why it doesn't count as attractiveness? Because I think that's a level 3 building. That's why it doesn't count right now. So if I place down then, so that's cargo planes, a large parked plane, this will allow me now to have additional stuffs going down. So if I did one, two, three. I'm just waiting to hear that ding, 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 upgrade noise. One, two, three. So a couple of airplanes parked around the edge. 980. Oh, okay. So it's only one more. It's only one more, which technically it's just like a small aircraft. So I could do one, two. You're in for the ding, ding, ding. One, two. So that then should be more than enough. Oh, no. It did, did, did it not ding, ding, ding? Did we not get the sound effects? Oh, man. But either way, we've done it. We've got exactly what we needed, a level 3. So that does mean that I can now technically place down the headquarters, even though I could have done it already. But like you're seeing, that didn't account to it until I placed the rest of it down. Now I should be able to squeeze, if my calculations are correct, the headquarters in just here. So that fits within the perfect shape there as that continues to then spill away. So now then, I have the ability to create my own airline company. Some t I mean, before in the past, when I placed the headquarters down, was it this series? No, it was um, it was the Dead End series, where it decided that this all of a sudden became the cargo industry airport. It was a weird one. It was definitely a weird one right now. But um, we're going to call it the Fools. The Fools up o list. No, we're going to call it Air... Air... Air Fullopolis. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Air's Air Fullopolis. That definitely is a mouthful right now. We need to pick a, a logo. I think if I go for this one and I make the planes pink... What do you reckon? Do you reckon that looks about right? I'm trying to match, like, kind of the salmon -y colour. Of that or I could go orange I'm just looking at the tail the differences in the tail colors oh that looks nice we could go corporate blue we've got this oh that looks nice doesn't it what if I went red or white now nah, black doesn't kind of look that good I'm just looking at the I don't know what colors to go with maybe if I just pick a color and uh, you guys could maybe let me know in the comment section down below what I should really select. I could go yellow. I think I'm, I think I'm liking the pink vibes. If I go back to the pink vibes right now, because if we see a pink plane, we 100% know it's full up on this um, plane. Oh, does it change the name? I'm gonna air fools upolis. There we go. Enter. Air Fullopolis. Even I can't even say it. <laughs> so there we go. We've got our own airline company right now. Which we can do all the policies and all that kind of jazz. And now we should start to see some decent income coming in. I'm already making 20... Okay, I was making 23 for hours. It's now dropped down to, um, to that. Um, I could increase the... I mean, this does decrease the attractiveness. But if I bring it down to where we're still at a 1,000... I'm making 17,000. I need 18,000 to cover the expenses. Yikes. Uh, anyway, any of the... Oh, there we go. There's one of the planes in the air full, fullopolis. 
um, livery right now. Off it goes. Off it goes, boys. Is that the 747 right now? Damn. Damn. Uh, right, anyway, we have this all set up. So we've got our own airline company. If you see pink planes right now, there's actually one, two, three pink planes coming in for the Air Philopolis. I can't, I can't say it. Uh, livery. Pretty sweet. Uh, so now that I can kind of get ready to design all of this. So this beach area, what I'll do is we'll key wall it uh, to kind of end at this point. So I'm going to come in by, we'll come in by five there. And we'll go in, if it will allow me. Is that four or five? All right, we'll just do it to there because I can't particularly see it very well so then and we'll pause it because i know this is probably going to cause me issues right I've, <laughs> that's the wrong way around already uh if i smooth it all this off obviously we've got to create our beach and then we have to sand it all off as well to make it look pretty good so we got to push this back as much as we can to make it a nicer kind of incline or decline hold on i'm gonna sneeze i feel like i'm gonna sneeze right now <laughs> I think the sand from this beach is getting up your boy's nose. Right, there we go. So push that further back. Uh, there, somebody told me there was something that I can do to kind of flip this round. Uh, is it in this? Invert segment mode. And now I am low-key going to rage quit the game. Think of all these canals that I've built. Oh my goodness me. Think of all these canals that I've built and now... I've just realized you can invert the segments. Okay, be right back. Just, you know, casually rage quitting the game right now. Um, now, will that be enough for a beach? If I fast forward anyway. So we're going to get a bit of flooding because I did do a little bit of ter terraining right there. But I'll see where this settles in just a moment as we kind of destroy this trumpet. So goodbye, trumpet. It was nice to know you. It was nice to know you. But now we just gotta do like a normal... In what world do you not delete? Are you for real? Have I gotta delete these individually? Uh, why are you not... Can I... There we go. Uh, delete. Jeez. The game is really uh, <laughs> pushing my buttons today. And we're going to upgrade all this back to three lane road. Oh, wait. This is not three lane, is it? Is this two lane? This is two lane. I do apologize, guys. Right, there we go. It just makes it a bit easier to do my little turn offs. Now, if I kept that going straight, that is technically not in line. with a segment here so if I just pick one and I'm going to choose this one here um, we'll pick it there so 10 away which would be an, another 10 to there I just realized I can't technically do it here can I So I need to create the end piece just there. Nope, still didn't do it. Let's try that one again. All right, to here, to there. So we should have the node. Yes, we do. There. So the 10, 10, wrong type of road, but you get the gist of it. Boom. Good stuff. So we'll create our quick connection right now from here to here our little wiggle that we had here which is probably going to be a little bit different there we go and then that will lead down into this area by our beach i'll put it back into play mode give that time to kind of flood the airport <laughs> but um right let's get this done then so we do a 10 by 10 by 10 
by 10. And then we're going to upgrade. The reason we have to do that straight there is because these slip roads that we now turn them to don't like to go straight off these turnings. So there we go. So then we do it by a 26. We then do it here by a 26. Here by a 26. And then there by a 26. So then all we need to do then is upgrade the middle section. So we reduce the lane down as we have the turn off uh, road. We are then going to... Uh, actually, first what we'll do is put a banner down to normal. Connect it from there. We'll have to anti key that as it goes underneath there to there. And then we'll sort out the elevation change on each one of these. So there to there. And then we've got to flip some of the roads around the right way. There we go. So we'll actually have like a... This might be the more dedicated turn off to get into the airport as they come in this way around. You never know. Um, or I could, the road I connect there is just for like buses only and not public transport. So that also could work as well. So that leading out is fine. This is the wrong way round. That's fine. This is the wrong way round. And then of course we need to do little connections like that. Doesn't really matter too much in this sense. I don't think there'll be too much traffic in general. Now if we're all is down at the bottom, we'll sort that out as time goes on. And how is the beach settled? Okay, it's almost there, but we do need to kind of sand it all off. Now, is it better to do it here? Yeah, in this. So I'm going to push this down at the minute. I still, I don't know if it's, um, if the angle's enough just yet either. I'll bring that down, but if I also sand it down to here. Do you reckon that like, the angle's enough? Bring that round. I don't think it is. And we do nice. We can do some nice long walks on the beach as well. So, terrain him. If I up the brush size, oh, wrong button. To push this out as much as I can at the bottom. It means I can go for a more gradual incline moving back. So it feels like the water is that's technically then coming in. And the smoother we make this, the better the transition will be for the water. So it's hard to tell still at the minute. <clears throat> and that's going to have a little bit of a tantrum. But we see how that settles. We see how that settles anyway. <clears throat> okay. So. Looking good. We're going to have visitors making their way over to the Aviation Museum. Which is 1,500 to, to, to run. That's kind of expensive, isn't it? But we've had nearly 200,000 passengers as well. That's ridiculous. That really is. And I think as we get more and more stuff added to it in the hotels, that'll increase the attractiveness, which will then dampen how neg the negative effect that happens with the modifier. So that'll kind of take a little bit away from it. I think now bringing and smoothing this in, I don't know whether that's going to sell there, but I feel like we need to expand the beach a bit more. Again, just got to give that time right now to settle down. But, um, yeah, let's bring this in to, like, centralize and end it. And then this will be, like, a tourist leisure hotspot with the commercial and some beach houses. And then we have the actual beach itself. If that actually comes in a little bit too far, then we will sort it out. But in reality, it shouldn't really go past this line. But you never know. This is just the water coming in because I've raised the bottom. Uh, right, so, 
this road. We shall now... I'm going to try and do this logically. So if I picked... If I pause and kind of go up... Oh, well, actually, it won't work like that. It's like I want it kind of parallel to the beach, but I know it's not going to be parallel to the beach. If I had that go it across like this. And then if I brought that down here. Twenty. Right, we'll just roll with that. We'll just roll with it. Now, I know we can do a bus road. Where is my bus road? Bus road, where are I? Oh, there it is. So, with the one with trees. And have I picked... Let's just say in the middle here. Coming out. So seven, spin that round, by seven. So hopefully th this shortcut is only yen used by the shuttle buses, right? The shuttle buses that will get people to and from all the hotels around this touristy hotspot. That's pretty much what I'm hoping for. Just so it kind of then diminishes the amount of people turning off here to drive there to use that as the main entrance. You want them to kind of... I know it's long-winded to come down here and then back in, but I'm trying to utilize this as the main entrance road. If needs be, we stick a roundabout there. I'm sure there'll be roads that connect these two together at some point. But that's what we're trying to uh, to stop. Because this might become a very busy area if it is very, very touristy. So this is a good start. I think we're going to push the uh, the beach out a little bit right now with the, uh, the old sand boys. Push it back a bit more, and we'll do like a like a, a beach kind of road, kind of to the edge. We'll do some nice kind of paths that walk down and through the beach, and we'll kind of eventually end it all off. But this is a good start. This will be a, a good start for my leisure area. So back into play, then let the, uh, the uh, water line kind of settle down a bit. I'm actually quite excited to build this little tourist hotspot. Because we can add in the airport hotels. We do have the, the kind of unique building hotel. A bunch, along with many, many beach kind of objects too. Uh, like, you know, like beach parks and stuff like that. Is the best way I can explain it that we can also throw down. So it become quite a nice little area. And for those aviation enthusiasts, you can be chilling on the beach, sipping a pina colada, watching the planes take off and land over their heads. It's going to be... Who would have thought we had a beach in the middle of this city on a river? <laughs> who would have thought it, boys? Not me. Not me. Uh, and then the smell of sewage water just spilling over. Glorious. Those city folks, they know how to live. They know how to live right. <laughs> um, right, okay. So, yeah, if that's where my beach is going to settle down, that's perfect. That is perfect. So, back to the... Uh, where is it? Where is it? The beach kind of style road. Uh, we'll kind of base it off this. So, if I came down by 31. Um, by a 60... Right, hold on. Is that by a 30 and in? So that 31 should be then set up perfectly for our gridded view. So that's the kind of the grids coming down, and this is the beach kind of road where it will kind of bend this way down. It will bend down this way. That's the only straight bit that we're going to have, and that's where the pier is going to come out from. So if I brought this down to 20, I'm able to drop the pier down right now. I know there is tourism leisure. We have the fishing pier. That's the only pier I have, isn't it? 
So if I drop that down here. So this is just the start of what's to come. There we go. There we go. Once it all builds up and fills in, it's going to look glorious. And we'll do like little paths that wiggle through, like a Venice Beach style and then like the skate park on it. This area is going to look really, really good. I can already see it kind of coming underway. And we'll do some tourism stuff around the edges and up here as well. Maybe a couple down here. Who knows? We'll do some beach houses and stuff like that where people live. It's going to be sweet, which would then also allow us on the public transport side of things. That metro line that came round into there will kind of add another metro stop here just for the regular passengers in general. Which they could also utilize that to get to the airport. It's not a problem, but we'll use the shuttle bus to kind of go around to all the individual kind of um, hotels and complexes that we're going to be building uh, around that area in general. So it's going to be a good little start. If I just kind of zone this area from the get-go then, just so we... No, if I do start to do build like commercial or whatever, or you know, that kind of stuff, I've already pretty much told this area what the style of buildings are pretty much going to be. So I'll just go to there. So in the policies of it, it's going to be... Let me get rid of this. Uh, city planning, it's going to be... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, no, no, sorry, wrong one. I have to apply it like this, don't know. Wait, how do I apply it again? Policies, services, taxation. Wait, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing at this moment. Ah, that, that's it. I was about to say for a second there, I feel like I didn't know what I was doing. So, ledger specialization thrown on that you can do oh tourism no i want tourism i do apologize which uh, attracts tourists causes noise pollution obviously now i could do self sufficient buildings as well so you get like a different style of building it's like uh consumes less electricity um, they have like solar panels and stuff on their roofs and it makes it feel like you are by the beach in a weird way so that's kind of what's cool. I might actually kind of um, zone that little hotspot there. I've just commercial. That's our commercial shopping district. And then we'll build residential around it. So that would be... I mean, even though we don't really have anything at the moment, they'd just be interesting to see it actually start coming together. I think next episode, we'll kind of fully build this area up. But that's going to be pretty sweet anyway. I'm quite excited for it. We're starting to get loads of people kind of visiting the uh, the aviation museum as well. You can see them all walking around, enjoying their days. Enjoying their days, boys. And uh, as time has been passing, the zoning is slowly being built around here. We did zone this little section last episode too, and that's kind of pretty much all built up as well. So the zone is happening. This is very, very slow. And now we're starting to get some leisure buildings all placed in. So I'm excited to see what these buildings turn out to be. Do I throw a high-rise ban on this? Or do I keep it to these, like... Because they're going to be hotels. Crest resorts. Let me know if I should put a high-rise ban on all of these buildings. Because that's definitely going to be a site for sore eyes, maybe. But is that just how we... I mean, <laughs> having these skyscrapers on the beach reminds me of Benidorm. If, you, if you're not familiar with what Benidorm is, Google it. Google it. It reminds me of that right now. <laughs> We're creating the Benidorm of Fallsopolis. Hilarious. Hilarious, boys. But, um, yeah. Not too bad. We're still using, like, population. But that's to be expected. We, have gone through, we haven't done any residential zoning in quite some time. Some decent zoning. So, very interesting. The night in. Hotel Hiya. Another hotel higher. Crest Resorts. The Night Inn. Hotel Intercontinental. <laughs> I'm liking this. This is going to be pretty cool to see how it all works. Everyone's trying to build really, really high to get that good sea view. Even though it's a river. And your only view is cargo ships. 
Yeah. I know. I know. But um, it's a good start anyway. We got those beautiful um, full Air Fallopolis planes now taking off, which is good to see. It'd be nice to see one land at some point too. Uh, we got this tourism zone that we're going to start eventually getting all set up as well. And I want to continue that momentum going down the specialization route. So we kind of then dabble in a little bit of everything, which is really then going to allow us to funnel some growth into the city. Because they feel like then... There's like little injections of here, there, and everywhere. Then everyone's got different options to go down. It's not the same route that everyone goes down. There's all these different avenues and routes, which are then, again, continue to spark the growth. And we'll slowly turn this all around. It's going to be very, very interesting. But guys, for now, we're going to end it for here. I hope you did enjoy this. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. <laughs>